a lot of people want to put the GT3 front bumper grill on their non-GT3 cars, but uh, pretty much scared. Um, there's good reason for that. Cutting a hole in your bumper cover um, can be a little nerve-wracking. The, uh, the amount of, of room for air that you have for the cutout for this is very, very small, and it's very easy to, uh, to draw the line on here, cut it, go outside of the line, um, and then you end up with a gap between the grill and your bumper cover or a uh, completely destroyed bumper cover. And no one wants to do that because they're about uh, 2,000 bucks a piece and then you gotta pay to have them painted. Um, we've done this a few times here at the shop, the old school way, drawing it out, cutting it, grinding it, sanding it, and uh, to make it fit perfect, but it's very time consuming and very nerve wracking. So what we've done is come up with a little kit that's gonna make this about a 10 minute job. Uh, you don't have to worry about ruining your bumper cover. And um, it's something that you at home can do, or you know, shops that do this on a regular basis uh, um, would also like this tool. Uh, basically, what the kit consists of is comes with a stainless steel template that you actually mount to the bumper cover. Um, it has tabs on it, so alignment's always perfect. Um, it gives you some cutouts for the jigsaw to give the exact cutout you need for your GT3 uh, grill. So, first step you're going to want to do. Tape up your bumper. Get some painter's tape and just lay it right on it. Um, you don't want to scratch your, uh, your paint up if you can help it. And then you're going to take your template and simply lay it on top of the bumper cover. Uh, we've made this very simple to line up. Just make sure that it's centered on the bumper itself. And we give you some tough soft tap and screws. And you're just going to screw them onto your bumper just like this. I like to start with the center and then lay it down and make sure that my spacing is exactly the way I want it from side to side. Okay, once you get the template in place, what we're going to do is we're going to drill a series of holes. And these holes are going to allow your jigsaw blade to go through and uh, to cut out the shape. Standard, uh, standard jigsaw with a, I like to use a pretty small bit on it, or a small blade I should say, um, and start in any of the holes and just follow the template.
That's all there is to that. Now we're going to remove the template. remove the template you'll see there's some small areas that are still connected that we had to do to keep the template in one piece and just take your jigsaw and just cut those little areas away Cut out. Clean up the edges a little bit. This setup will only work with the factory grills. Um, that's what we offer in all of our kits. There are people that make some aftermarket grills out there, but I really uh, don't know much about them, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't guarantee that it's the exact same size of the grill. Let's get the cut out. This grill has some little uh, recessed areas underneath the mounting points. What you're going to want to do is put the grill in and you got to pop it up underneath there. And as you can see, it's pretty much a perfect fit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attach it to the back side with the special clips that come in the kit as well. We decided to move the operation inside because it's getting a little windy outside. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put these clips on the back side. We're just going to hold the grill in place. You can see these specially designed clips. they got little rubber pads on them where it makes contact to the bumper cover. So. If you were just going to put the grill in with no uh, wire mesh kit underneath it, you would simply just put the clips in place like this. And we've got these corner clips that go over the ends like that. And you just put the screws in and mount it. But we're going to put the wire mesh screen kit onto it 
It's a, uh, it's a nice feature, especially on the non-GT3 cars, because when you look in the grill, you can actually see the bumper support underneath. So this kind of um, hides the, uh, all the components underneath. So all you do with this is lay this grill on top of the brackets and the assembly. And then the kit also comes with these, uh, these little straps that go over the top. So simply put the straps over the top of the grill. And then just line them up. The best thing is to just keep everything loose until you get them all in. And the wire mesh has cutouts in it, so you have clearance for the for the screws. more of those And on the ends, you just use washers. Those are also supplied with the kit. So once you get everything in a place, just go through and snug up the screws. Don't really crank down on them. Um, let me show you a little something in a bit here. Get them down so they're fairly tight. So once you get them in there, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. And put your hand on top of the bumper cover right above where the screw is and tighten it down and just feel it and if you feel the bumper cover start to come up a little bit just stop tightening the screw because you can really crank down those screws and you can actually cause the bumper cover to get a little bit wavy along the edge and do the same thing on the top There, everything's all tight. And you can see what it looks like. See the wire mesh inside. And that's it.